Robert Stevens, director of the Area 31 Radio Observatory. And I've been doing the SETI program Project Target now for a couple of decades. I started back in uh, the early 80s and I took over the uh, long haul tropo scatter station at Hay River Northwest Territories uh, when I learned it was abandoned. Uh, it was, uh, I, well, I turned it into the Hay River Radio Observatory. I scanned the heavens for uh, several years um, at the hydrogen line, 21.1 centimeters. Um, didn't find anything then. I uh, moved to Algonquin Radio Observatory in the late uh, 80s. Uh, worked there uh, on a beautiful 20 meter uh, radio telescope, again looking at the hydrogen line. Uh, until it was shut down by the uh, government of Canada, closed uh, uh, ARO in uh, 91, uh, 90, 91, due to uh, severe budget cuts. So long story short, uh, here I am. I've got my own uh, uh, radio observatory on my own farm property now, which I've been building for years. And uh, we have a number of arrays that are, are being built. I've just picked up a uh, a large uh, 7.6 meter telescope courtesy of uh, uh, the CBC in Montreal and it's here ready to be put put up and I've been concentrating on uh, and building a, a teaching uh, observatory as a, a community resource for schools and universities and to give uh, undergrad students a chance to uh, to get a what I'm coining a hobo or hands-on brains-on uh, uh, experience with with radio telescope hardware uh, designing uh, experiments and, and observing the heavens in, in various uh, in various modes, um, and here we are today. This this is the computer monitor which does the fast Fourier transform off the back of this particular telescope. Sorry, I'm hand holding the camera and I'm shaking now. That's not going to help. We can edit that out. Um, this is where the Encyclopedia Galactica was discovered uh, last uh, Sunday afternoon. It was April 1st. I thought it was a hoax, uh, but the signal has continued, uh, uh, persisted all week, and I've been uh, trying to hone in on how it's being transmitted, where it's coming from, etc. And it's quite a delicious mystery, let me tell you. So I, I have the pleasure of making this video today that I've made a discovery, and um, if it turns out to be real, it's, this is going to change everything. It's going to turn everything we know upside down. And that wouldn't be a bad thing, would it? Look at the way things are going. So, this is Robert Stevens, SETI researcher, and I'm Canadian SETI pioneer at gmail.com, signing off for now. Thanks for watching.